is the Lord's house. You don't do everything up in the Lord's house. You don't say everything up in the Lord's house. Come on, if holiness becometh God's house, you supposed to be holy. It's a shame, amen. It's a shame. And listen, I'm, I'm warning the bishop said this year is a year of deception. It's going to be a year of exposure too. God is going to expose you. And it ain't because God has not been merciful. I just want the, I want people out there because I, I want people out there in the world visiting on stream. I want you to know, please forgive us. Everybody ain't like that. Some of us believe there's a hell. We believe there's a heaven. We believe you should live right. We don't believe in a fornication. We don't believe in adultery. We don't believe in smoking, doping, all that craziness. Not all of us do that. Some of us, when we come to the house of God, we respect God's house. Well, God looks on the inward and he don't look at the outward. Well, no, he doesn't, but we reverence him enough that when we come to... The, now, if you come in the first time, we're here in Las Vegas. We don't care if people come from the strip in their shorts and whatever they come in. They're coming here for us to help them. We're not judging them. We have the utmost respect for those people that would even come here. We respect them. I'm talking about folks talking about you born again. You ain't born again. You are not born again and you're not a Christian. No, you're not. Christian means to be like God. You ain't nowhere near like Jesus. No, you're not. Well, uh, I think they should do you by your what's on the inside. Ain't nothing in you for them to see. We're talking about the world. See, I'm, I'm tired of this. Coming here, clapping your hands. Oh, let me take communion. No, you live right before you take the communion. You live right before you take it. God ain't, he don't care about it. If the world take it, then they go, that's them. But you know better and should do better. We need to stop this, clean up. You need to clean yourself up and make up in your mind in 2024. I didn't got by with so much and God's been so merciful to me and so kind to me. I'm going to make up my mind in 2024. I'm going to make it real. I'm going to live it real. So somebody can see my good works and not glorify me. Not give me fame, but give my Father which is in heaven. They can see the Christ in me. Now, I, you know what? I, I wish I could just be somewhere else to say this, but you're visiting here. And visitors, we are so glad to have you. We're really a loving place. And I wouldn't say this if I didn't love you. But I'm talking about people, people that know better and won't do better, all on the line. Because, you know, I'm not... To me, if you bold enough, I'm, not, I'm respecting Bishop and not calling your name, but I ain't scared of you. Because if you bold enough to say it, I'm going to be bold enough to say it. I'm not going in no corner and sit down. Oh, we don't want to offend nobody. Yes, I do want to offend you. I want to offend you so you can get right. I want to offend you till you get shame of what you're doing. You feel disgrace for what you're doing. I want you to feel what I'm saying. I'm not here to pat you and tell you you wonderful. No, you're not. Stop that. Stop it before it's too late. The time is going to come. You're going to want to change and God has given you up. We don't want God to give you up to a reprobate mind. He's not giving sinners up to a reprobate mind. He's talking about the church. Those that know better, won't do better. You didn't hold the truth. You didn't heard it and heard it. Instead of you getting mad at people that's weak, fake, false, and phony, you get mad at the real folks. Well, I just think they're trying to be holier than thou. We'll never be holier than them, but at least we're trying. At least we're striving. I just got that off of my heart.